Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it is time for our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube number 306. Oh, pretty. <laughs> I'm looking at the glitter and it's kind of like butterfly. <laughs> I have got brand new product from you or for you from Aladdin. Now I had thought that their next 16 colors wouldn't be here for another, gosh, I almost thought 60 days, but lo and behold, Kevin, bless his pea picking heart over at Aladdin, got them to us early. <gasps> Swoon, they're just beautiful. So if you've never heard of Aladdin or you've never heard of eye zinc glitter, eye zinc diamond glitter, wait till you see what we have. And the name for it is even better. It's eye zinc diamond 24 karat glitter because they went boom and added, oh, <laughs> it's just a little bit of fabulous. So I've got that for you today. I have also got product from Stampendous. Now, the Aladdin is exclusive to us and some of the Stampendous is also exclusive to us. And I am ever so thankful to Peggy and Fran for that. I have got these sets that they did. They, they're, they're, they're card sets, but they're interactive. They're 3D. They're, I don't even know how to describe them. But if you are new to crafting, this is it. This is for you. You're going you're gonna to love this because you are going to be able to do this right out of the box. Easy peasy. And if you've been crafting for forever, this is for you because you're gonna be able to do it right out of the box and you're gonna be able to add your flair and your style and, and what makes your uh, crafts distinctly you. It's so important. I tell you, you know, with the, with the holidays coming up and so many people wanting to do handmade gifts, one, because of budget, two, because it makes their heart happy, I just have to tell you, people come up all the time and say, you know, I'm just, I just can't do this. I'm just not good at it. Or it never comes out the way I wanted it to, to look. It's not what I thought it was going to be. Okay. Stop thinking. <laughs> stop. When you take your time to make something for somebody, whether it's the idea of what it, it comes out to be exactly what you thought in your head or slightly different. Maybe you were free handing and it kind of went free handing or maybe the color choices you would choose differently next time. But when you take that time to make something for somebody and you hand them that card or that project or that mini album or that layout or whatever it is you're doing, they see past everything that you see wrong. They do. What they see is your heart right there being handed to them. And, and so you are successful because you made their, you made their day, you made their week, you might have even made their year. In that moment, they know just how much you cared. And by George, this project that we have for you today is going to give you that opportunity, whether you are the most advanced crafter or you're watching me for the first time. Oh my. <laughs> okay. If you're watching me for the first time, hang with us. <laughs> I promise I really do craft at some point. <laughs> I just want everybody to know what that Stampendous really put some thought behind this and they really wanted you to be as as successful as possible and they wanted to keep it as affordable as possible as did Aladdin. So I've got new house mouse stamps from Stampendous. I've got new traditional Fran stamps from Stampendous. I have two new kits from Stampendous. No die cutting required at all. So if you don't have a die cutting machine, easy peasy, don't even worry about it. I've got the new glitter from Aladdin and I've got my colored pencils from Tombow and I do have some Tombow markers here because you got to color them with something. So we're going to work on that today. I also have winner winner chicken dinner to announce and then I'm going to ask that before you go forward, you give me just a few minutes of your time, me and you, just us, and we're going to have just a, a really short little conversation before I tilt on down and get started for today. Okay. All right. So let's do winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ready? 
Now, that was on YouTube number 305, and that was Hero Arts. Oh, my gosh. And that was also exclusive to us. So cute. And their samples were darling. They were, like, the cutest samples ever, like, ever, until this week, because now I have new samples from Stampendous and from the SMS Girls, and, well, they're the cutest samples ever. <laughs> But two of you are going to win some of that wonderful Hero Arts product. And it turns out we're giving you, oh, we're giving you that exclusive set that had the dies, the stamps, and the inks. I want to say that was like a $25 set. Congratulations, Wahoo Kachu, for you. But who are you? Well, our first winner winner is... Now, I think that this really should be, like, you should be, like, in lights. Your name is one of those names that, like... You need to be a super movie star because you or a, or a, or a singer, a rock star because you've got an awesome name. You are Charlotte Charlotte LaBelle. Doesn't that sound fabulous? Starring Charlotte LaBelle. I think so. <laughs> now you may have no inclination to ever be on stage, but I love your name. Okay, Charlotte. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Woohoo, Kachu! Now, our next winner winner is. Oh, I like her first name too. I think it's a her. Lane. I love the name Lane. Last name I'm going to struggle with a little bit, Lane. Wobito? Wobito? I don't know. Is it Wobito? Is it Wobito? I don't know. But Lane, oh my gosh, you two are a winner winner chicken dinner. So, what do we do? You're a winner chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Wahoo. Kachu. For both of you. Congratulations. Now, how are you going to claim your prizes? Don't post your comment and then don't claim your prizes. This makes no sense to me whatsoever. It takes longer to figure out how to post a comment than it does to claim your prize. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> so, go to our website, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Look for the link that says winner, winner, chicken dinner. Click it. Follow the directions. We will confirm that you are indeed our winner and we will get your prizes off to you just as quickly as possible. But if you don't claim them within 30 days of the original air date of this YouTube, they go into the land of misfit prizes and we use them for our anniversary sale. You took the time to comment and we approved your comment. Claim your prizes. Okay, so Lane and Charlotte LaBelle. <laughs> Congratulations to the both of you. How do you get a chance to be a winner winner chicken dinner here? It's so easy. You just watch this YouTube, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, and then you can post a comment. Our live chat does not count as a comment. You actually have to post a comment on this YouTube. And then we have a software that randomly selects people and we do two every time. Okay, so before I get to the Stampendous and the Aladdin and the goodness that is seriously parked in front of me, I wanna have a just a brief conversation and I'm gonna ask that if you are watching this during the premiere and that we are live chatting right now. Please, 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 please just take your fingers off the keyboard and just no live chatting. And then when I come back and we tilt on down, then we can live chat about happy things again. So I'm gonna ask you that if you are live chatting with me, on the morning that this YouTube premieres, you just take a step back from your keyboard or your phone or wherever you're at, and no comments right now about this. It would just, for me, I'm asking for me, a favor for me. So, Mr. SMS needed to, well, he went in, he, he had some tests run, and, um, and then he had a few more tests, and this has been going on for a couple months, and yesterday we were again having a few more tests. These are a little more invasive and unfortunately they didn't come back the way we wanted them to come back. So over the next few weeks and possibly months, I'm going to need you to kind of bear with me a little bit. I am ready to go. I've got all the YouTube stuff ready to go. I've got the in-store make and take. I mean, I'm, I know what I'm supposed to be doing for like the next eight weeks. <laughs> 
but life happens and I don't know what is going to be in store for us. We have another doctor's appointment on Monday and gosh, I wish I could tell you that he tripped down, you know, he fell over my purse or well, he stepped on a Lego that our kid left out, although our kids are 17 and 18 and he tore his ACL or he needs to have some surgery, you know, to relieve some, some discs in his back or his neck. But unfortunately it's much more, much more than that. So right now we are team Mr. SMS. We are Mr. SMS strong and we are go team go. And I am a girl that has a will as strong as steel and I will not bend or break until not ever, actually. I will not bend and I will not break. I will will him to be okay. And I'm going to ask that you put him on your prayer list and you pray for him. I'm praying too, but I sometimes think I'm so ornery that my will is what really pulls us through. Because <laughs> I'm just feisty. <laughs> I refuse to accept defeat and I will not accept defeat and neither will he. So... I will give you more information once I have it. We're going to wait for a few more tests and then uh, definitely surgery without question. And we will go from there. But if I have to bow out for a week, I'm, I'm, I'm knowing that you're my friend and I know that you will understand why. And I will, I will do my best to, to be tried and true and continue down and, and be here every week. But this is... Um, this 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 needs my attention and so um, so just bear with us and bear with me and just as soon as I have something more that I can be more concrete on or when I know that surgery is gonna happen or any more information I will let you know and like I said we're back at the doctors on Monday and so we'll have we'll do another test and we'll have some more information later in the week so team strong that's what we do we stand up, we square our shoulders. As my dad would say, you put your chest out. But... <laughs> and we are going to march forward and we are all going to get through this. Just because there's no other option, is there? Nope, nope, we don't accept defeat. So I'm going to put my glasses on. I am going to tilt down for today. We are gonna get started. You are going to love, love, love what I have to show you. And then for the next two weeks, no Christmas at all, at all. Nothing Christmas. And then the very last week of this month is my next Simply Defined release. Okay, are we ready to tilt on down? Good, I'm glad. Are you still with me? Good. I'm glad because trust me, we're going to need all of you out there praying. Okay? Okay. Down we go. All right. So let me take this and let me zoom on in and down. And oh, maybe I slide over just a little bit. How's that? Maybe down a little bit more. Oh, that's up. <laughs> uh, okay, I think that's good. All right, now, this looks a lot like the window rama from Stampendous, and we had the die, and the die cuts everything, and then you can fold it down, and put it in an envelope, and mail it. And it is, it's very much a window rama. Super cute. This is one of the free make and takes going on downstairs right now. Look at his neat darling little house mouse dude but I also have this one so if you're doing our make and take in store you have the option to do either of them which one makes your heart happy so cute right I can I think there's a shadow on it but I can't actually tell so so super cute and then it folds down we did and look at see it's flat then you can put it into an envelope and mail it and we did a whole YouTube and they have the window rama dies so that if you have a die cutting machine whether you roll it or you push the button whether it be a big shot or a big kick or a vagabond or a spellbinders platinum or a, a gemini the dies did everything for you but what if you don't have a die cutting machine then what do you do well stampendus took care of that for you and they've also brought out new mini sets now, I think I'm going to start with the mini sets super quick just so you can see them. So they have two new mini sets. 
Um, one is all house mouse and one is all traditional. And inside each mini set is 10 different stamps and then the stamp block and the ink. So when you get this, whether you're giving it as a gift or keeping it for yourself, you are ready to go because you've got all 10 of the cute little stamps. They're just darling. And don't worry, I have samples of all of them. But you've got all the stamps. You've got all the ink that you need. The black ink, which is right here. You've got the block. You've got everything you need. You're good to go. Wahoo kachoo. So they've never bundled it this way before, and I'm really liking it because it really makes it easy peasy for us to ship them to you. There's $30 worth of stamps in the bundle, and then the ink and the block are kind of like a free gift, but of course we are going to be doing it at a really great price. So that we can talk about later. But that's what the bundle looks like, and as I said, there's the traditional that I'm going to be playing with today and the house mouse. So two different bundles, brand new from Stampendous. Then they brought out these card kits. Card kits, kind of a Christmassy one and a wintry one. Two different card kits. And the card kits come with eight cards, eight envelopes, and stamps for sentiments. So no die cutting needed. But I wanna show you kind of how the cards work because there's there's more to these than even in the window Rama, which is uh, the die set, which is kind of nice. So let's play with the winter. There's one and there's one. Okay, so you're gonna be able to make eight different interactive shadow boxes that then lay flat and fit right into the envelopes that they give you. So you get the envelopes, you get the cards, they'll slide right on in, fits right on in, and you're good to go. But how do you use these? How do these work? How do you put them together? Okay, this is where I come in. There is a top and there is a bottom. How do you know the difference? Well, the top has this uh, circle that's wanting to be punched out. And you do indeed punch that out. It's pre-die cut for you. You don't need scissors, nothing like that. Ready to go, giving you your third piece. Then your bottom piece has no window in it at all. It also has, and I'm not sure if I can get a picture of this on the camera, it also has little cutouts on the corners and on the bottom corners, little pop outs, and then one in kind of the center. And that tells you this is the back side. But putting these together, they don't go, they don't go like this. No, no, no. Let's put one together super fast for you. Now, the center circle here can be used in a couple different ways. It can be used as a background. It can be used on the back of the uh, the back of the card. But I'm going to put that to the side just for a minute to show you the score lines. So in each on each side there are score lines, and they're very visible when you get them. You'll be able to see them very very easy. Then we have another score line. Ta-da! Done. Then here, your normal in feeling, what, what seems intuitive, is to take and use the score lines to go down. Giving you this, which is what most people want to do. But on the back side, I need you to take and move those score lines folding to you. So when you're talking about the top piece, the one that's got the windows, those score lines, they get folded away from you. And when you're talking about the bottom piece, those score lines get folded to you. Therefore, when we put them together, 
we've made our cute little box and you've got a background right here already there ready to go if i had taken um, the bottom and i had put the score lines away from me you can still make the box but now what you've got is a white center now if you're planning on filling that white center up with something like a picture well then by george this is going to be great for you because you're never going to see that that uh, center you're never going to see this design this way it just depends upon what you're going to fill in that center now we can keep it just like that or we can add our little embellishment here that they've given you and perhaps if you were going to fill the center with a picture which i'll show you samples of you could take the circle and you could put the circle right on the back and you could put to and from and that way you've got a lovely little ready to go if, you know everybody takes the pictures at costco or at sam's club the family picture trim it right on down and put it right on in there and instead of just sending them a postcard with a family picture you're doing an actual card for them but what if you wanted to have that background in there and I fold those up towards me so that you do have that background. Well, can you still use this piece on the back? Sure you can. Goes right there. You can still do a to and a from, but maybe what you're putting inside you need that background for, or maybe you just like it because on the sides of the box it kind of finishes it off as opposed to just leaving it white. Now today we're gonna be using the card here to stamp on and the ink that I use and the block that I use are going to be from the sets so everything that I use is coming from the stamp sets and this piece right here I want to put it on my back so that I have this right easy peasy but how to line it up that's always a question. Lining things up and keeping them straight and not off center can sometimes be a challenge because I want to get it in there and I want to get it as straight as I can get it. So the easiest way to do this is to not attach my two pieces together yet. Leave your box flat. Flat. I'm going to take a little bit of Stacy tape and put just a little bit of Stacy tape on the back of my circle. Just so you can see. Now you can use as much double sided adhesive that makes your heart happy. I've got a little bit of my tape on the back of my circle. I'm gonna keep these flat. I'm gonna peel off my liner to expose my sticky. And while I have them flat, laying flat, I'm gonna line them up because they're the exact same size. I'm gonna lay them flat, get them all nice and centered. That looks pretty good. And while it's flat, I can then put my circle back in any way that I want it. You can move those little snowflakes any way that make your heart happy. So I'm gonna put it in here. Give a nice little press, pull off my top, and bam, I am lined up ready to go right easy peasy ready to go now i could take and each set comes with stamps so each set of cards comes with their own set of stamps oh i thought i had this oh there we go 
So you've got sentiments, little dog paw. You've got paws for the holidays, warm winter wishes, from our hearts to yours and a gift for you. So that comes with the winter set. The Christmas set has their own set of stamps, but if I were to use, let's pull the block. Pull the block and pull the ink. If I was to use the block and the ink that comes with the additional stamp sets that will work with this. All I have to do is decide which sentiment I want and stamp it right there and finish closing up my card. Really very simple. Yeah, well, let's just do it since I'm here. So really very simple. So let's just grab here, this one is, I think, from our hearts to yours. Put it right onto a clear block. Let's it cling and on and off and on and off. That's the beauty of clear stamps or cling stamps. Let's bring over my card. Let's grab the ink. And again, the, the block and the ink don't come with the card sets, but they do come with the stamp set. I don't know if I've got enough on there. I'm gonna stamp off super quick, a couple times, just to make sure it's clean. Ready, one, two, three. Yeah, let's stamp again. One, two, three, a little better. Stamp again. One, two, three. So what am I doing? I'm stamping the stamp again and again because there's a little bit of residue on the stamp being that it's never been used before. Then I can bring my card over, use my ink, and you wanna give nice pressure but not too hard because this is a clear stamp set and it will kinda of gush. One, two, three. From our hearts to yours. Take a little bit of Stacy tape. Put it right on the flap of my box. It overlaps. My Stacy tape's just a little bit long. It's not a problem. I'm just going to fold it right back in onto itself. go. Take off my liner to expose my sticky. Take off my liner to expose my sticky. I folded the excess that was over the top right back in on itself. Now I'm good to close up my box. And I'm just going to match my edges. One side. The other side. And I'm good to go. So, if this was as adventurous as you wanted to be to make Christmas cards this year, easy peasy done. You of course, it would help if I put it the right way. <laughs> You've got a darling little Christmas card. You can sign it right down here. It fits right into the envelope that it comes with. You get to make eight of them per kit. So if that's all you wanted to do, and this will fit through as a regular stamp. That's if you just wanted to do some fun, inexpensive, easy Christmas cards because you've never tried to make them by yourself, this is a good way to do it. Then if you wanted to elaborate a little bit, well, we can do that too. I think I am going to pull my memento just to have it. 
So let's take it the next step and go a little bit further. I'm going to move my block right on out and put this right back where it belongs. Over here, I'm going to grab another set. So again, I've got my front and I've got my back. And remember, the back has no window, but it has tiny little notches for not just a picture. You can put a picture on the inside, but you can add a gift card to the outside. But let's start with my front. So I'm right back where I started from, and I've got my little circle that I can just pop right on out. And this time I want to do just a little bit more with it. I want to, as opposed to just stamping a simple sentiment, I want to do a little bit more. So I'm going to grab the sets that I have and I'm going to do, I'm going to just pull these two because they're right up here on top. So up, oh, this is the little angel for the sample that we have. So I'm going to work with the little angel and I'm going to bring my block back. Hold my little angel, put her right on my block, bring over my gush pad, and just on the circle that they've given you, haven't cut anything, haven't grabbed paper from anywhere else, and you have two sides to the circle. So do you like it with the snowflake, or would you prefer to do something on your own where it doesn't have snowflakes? You have options. I'm going to take and I'm going to anchor on up. This time I'm going to use my memento just in case you decide to use your memento or your hero arts. Now just remember if you use a hero arts India ink it will mark your stamp black but I wouldn't worry about that. Ink up and let's see if I can get a good stamp down here because she's brand new. And how about there? One, two, three, A, B, C. I want to give pressure, but not chest compressions. And that's so important when you're using clear stamps. You want it to be nice and pressure, but if you do too much, the stamp will gush. It's not a red rubber stamp. It will gush, and that will give you blurred lines. So let's see what I did. Oh, she looks good. Yay! No blurred lines. Now I can take the other stamp that comes with it because it's got little stars. Or I could take the same. Oh, I think I'll just take the stars. Put it again on my clear block. Ink up. Oh, I don't know if I like the stars. Stars and snowflakes? One, two, three. And one, two, three. Good enough. Oh, should I do? No, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> I would just keep stamping away and having stars go and I just keep doing it. So this is where I'm at. Now I used a gush pad so that my stamping is able, my stamp's able to sink down into the paper and make better contact. Also, you'll see I got some ink on my block. Can you see that I've got some ink on my block? No worries. Baby wipe's gonna take it right on off and a baby wipe to clean your stamps and then they're done. Easy peasy, no worries at all. So I've gotten this far. Now what do I wanna do? I'm gonna color it because I want her colored before I attach her inside of my, my base. You have a couple options when you want to color. You can use watercolor pencils, you can use colored pencils and Gamsol, you can use Tombow, it markers and palette paint. You can just color it in with, with uh, 
regular colored pencils and not use Gamsol. It's really just about getting some color on her and so she pops just a little bit more. Um, I think I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use uh, some colored pencils and these are not watercolor pencils. They're not used as a watercolor pencil and you don't add water to them. This is a Tombow colored pencil and while you can use it just like a crayon, so you can just absolutely color with it without any problem, it does tend to leave those little lines. It kind of looks like you colored with a crayon as opposed to a colored pencil. And maybe you want a smoother look. So for many of you who have been watching my YouTubes, you know we use Gamsol with our colored pencils. Gamsol is also known as Mineral Spirits. You may already own this. You may have owned this from 15 years ago and didn't even realize you owned it and didn't remember what it was for. If it says Gamsol or Mineral Spirits, it is for your colored pencils. And how do you use it? You use something called a paper stub. And that's all this is, is very um, tightly compressed paper so that it will um, absorb and let you move it around. You need to have something with some, some pressure to it. Can you just use a paintbrush and get Gamsol on there and do the same thing? No, the paintbrush doesn't, you don't have enough pressure. You can't apply enough pressure with a paintbrush. But the paper stub, again, it's compressed and it's, look at that, it doesn't even bend. I mean, it's, it's pretty tight and it works beautifully. Now, Inky Antic sells their Gamsol, and that's the one we buy. I like it most because it has this little lid on the top, little spongy thing that lets you put some Gamsol on your nib, on your, your stub here, without it absorbing too much. Again, paper, very, very porous, liquid, loves porous things. <laughs> just looking for a way to be absorbed <laughs> and if you put your pencil your your stub into your gamsol what's going to happen is it's going to go i guarantee you you'll hear it go <laughs> and all of a sudden your whole stub will be filled with gamsol that you will never be able to put back into the bottle so you want to, if you don't have a Gamsol bottle like this, but you already own it, that's fine. Go get yourself a little, um, a little cup. This has got water in it. Go get yourself a little cup, put um, uh, a cotton ball or two at the bottom and put some Gamsol and pick it up that way. You don't want to waste what you don't have to waste, which means you also don't want to, and let me get a paper towel. If you have Gamsol, you don't want to tip it out with the sponge and press. It will come right out and you're never going to be able to get that Gamsol back in. So I'm going to put a little bit here. Can you see it? It just wants, it wants to just absorb. <laughs> so I'm going to wipe that off. You want to just, if you need to get a little bit more in your sponge, you just close it up and shake it and you'll be good to go. Now what does it look like when you use it? Well, I'll do half of my half of my little card so you can see the difference. Now, can you see I'm I'm putting good pressure on there? All right. Gamsol? No Gamsol. Big difference, right? Gamsol? no Gamsol. So when I use it and I bring my pencil over, I want to be sure to leave negative space because I don't want her entire dress to be uh, the same shade of blue. I want to leave myself some negative space to move that blue into. We'll have the highlight coming right in the center of her dress. So can you see how much negative space I've left you? That's because I need to be able 
to move that paint, what will become like a paint, that pencil, into that negative space, giving me a, a shadow, a mid-tone, and ideally some sort of a highlight, almost like you were playing with Copics or alcohol ink markers. And I'm gonna go in there, and I'm gonna start to smooth that Gamsol out. And as I'm smoothing it out, I'm pulling it away from where I'm working into that white space. So that it's not all one color. Now I can come over here and do the same. So in just a matter of a few minutes, her dress is done. And it's done in a way that gives it some highlight and some shadow and some definition. It's not all the same blue. You can see the light source is coming from straight on her. But it was done with a paper stub and some colored pencils. Can you use colored pencils that you already own? Yes, do you have to buy the Tombows? No, try what you have. I will tell you the Tombows are a very, very, very good colored pencil. But my gosh, if you already have colored pencils from time gone by, use them. So now I can come in here and maybe I can do her, oh, I need to do the rest of her arms. So let's just do a little bit on her, on her arms. And move that in just a little bit just to color her little arms and then she's got these super cute little mittens so I'm gonna do her little mittens and let's do those in a different color how about we do those in the yellow so I've got yellow for her mittens and it may be that her mittens are small enough that you just want to color them all one color and not use the Gamsol at all So she's got little yellow mittens and her hat. Hmm. Maybe we do a little yellow hat too for her. Yeah, no, maybe a red hat. I don't know. I'm the worst. I always want to pick a million colors. So a little bit of red. And I left a little bit of negative space. I'm gonna use the other side of my stump, get some Gamsol on it. Got plenty there. And let's do her little, her little hat. And now we need to change colors. Let's say I want to do a skin tone on her. Maybe it's enough to just color it in. So I've got a little bit of skin tone color on her. She's fair like me but I want to smooth it out and I've only got one stub. Now the kit that you'll get from us comes with, I think a large and a small, but this, this is your sharpener. The kit that you get from us also is a sharp, comes with a sharpener. All this is is sandpaper and it's at a grit that is going to sharpen your stub. And all you gotta do, it's paper, just sharpen it until the color that you were using is gone. And once this has been used so much, you've sharpened, see now the blue is coming off. So I'm sharpening off that blue color so that I can use it with another color and not cross contaminate. And once I've got that done, if this is no longer sharpening, you just peel it off and throw it away and you've, you've got several sheets to go through. So let's do, I did her skin tone, but I wanna smooth it just a little bit. 
So I'm going to grab some of that Gamsol and I'm going to go in there and I'm just going to smooth it so it doesn't look so much like colored pencil. And I can do my stars. If I was a yellow, which yellow did I use? And I can do my stars. And again, I'm going to leave some white space. That white space is super important because you've got to have some place for this pencil to move once you start using Gamsol. If you're just going to color it all the way in, then you don't have anything to worry about. But if you want that, that pencil to become almost like a paint, you've got to leave yourself some negative space. So you've almost got a shadow and a mid-tone. I can go back there and I can add a darker to give it even more of a shadow. Can't do that with watercolor pencils. You have to wait till you're completely dry. But look at how cute is she. So let's assume she's done. Yeah? Let's assume she's done. Now we've got our base that's been sitting here, our top and our bottom. I'm gonna keep them, before I score them, I'm gonna keep them completely flat because I can take her and add her anywhere I want. I can put her straight up, I can tilt her to the side, got a little ink on her. And let's get some Stacy tape. and a little bit on the bottom, a little bit on the top just to put her into place. Peel back to show my sticky. Take my liner off. And then line her on up. Oh, I moved. No problem. Let's try it again. There we go. And she's centered. Now you can fold your flaps up. To start making your box. The ones with the windows you fold down away from you. The one with the backing you fold up to you. And see on this one, I'm going to want to have that backing because when you move it and you lay it flat, if I had used, can I get it? Close enough. If I had decided to do it this way, so now the snowflake is going to be on the back side of the whole piece. And I took her and I lined her up. I did just as I had done before. This time. So now you've got a really pretty back of your box of your window Rama but when you move it from side to side, that's what you're going to get. So you have to make the decision what's more important to you. M maybe you're going to take another piece of paper and just cover this whole thing. But they've made it easy 
that if you just want to put them together, you don't have to cut any paper at all. Because when they slide them, you're good to go. Now, on the back, remember I mentioned that there's these little tabs. Can you see those little tabs? There's one right there. There's two on the corner. If you were going to put a photograph, you don't have to worry about how are you going to tape it in. You're just going to notch it. It's right in. You're going to slip right in under the notches because then when Christmas is over and they want to keep the picture, they just take it right out. Or if you are giving somebody a gift card. The notches are there. You can just put your gift card right in place. And it doesn't impede anything. Right there, and you put your two and your from, and look at how cute. And when you turn it over, those notches are hidden by the center. You don't see any of it. Is that awesome? So let's close it up. Again, it comes with eight cards for you to make eight window Rama cards like this and eight envelopes and the stamp set so you can do your sentiment. I could have stamped the sentiment on there too, as opposed to the little stars. And let's just take, and I'm just gonna line it right up. Just line my two, bam. Bam, closed, ready to go with a gift card on the back. And then I could take the little sentiment if I really, if I wanted to, I could stamp the little sentiment. I could have stamped the little sentiment already on the back. Or I suppose I could take a piece of paper and let's see how big is that sentiment to you and yours. Okay, that works for me. Take a little bit of ink and my gush. Ink up. One, two, three, A, B, C, up. Piece to you and yours. Right there. Freehand, bop, bop, good enough. You can even cut the little corners off if you want to make it a little more decorative. And I could take some of my Aladdin glitter Hello! <laughs> so this is the new Aladdin glitter. Okay, it's called 24 Carat is the new name for this. This And this is like mirror ball. This is like a little bit of sparkly. Oh my gosh, if you were into disco. Well, okay. Well, I, I liked my disco, so no judgment. But you can take it and you can put it around the edges. to give a little definition. And what makes Aladdin glitter different than everybody else's is that it dries almost instantaneously. Okay, so I've got a little glitter now going on around my edges and I could take a little Stacy tape. Now, if we were using stickles, 
or um, Nouveau Drops. There's nothing wrong with either of them. They both are great product. They just take a whole lot longer to dry. And maybe you don't have a whole lot longer. Maybe you need it to be done now. Peace to you and yours. Oh, so cute. And I could take a little bit of that. I could take a little bit of that silver and I could go around just add a little bit to my edges so it's got a little snowflake going on a little bit more so let me explain a little bit about the eye zinc glitter first off it does come in these weird looking pouches but the pouches are wonderful because what you see is what you get there is no question about what color you are buying the window in the pouch is actually transparent so that is the glitter in the pouch that's in there that's the color the window's transparent so what you see is what you get oh so cute it dries in a heartbeat and i mean like that okay super cute right now if you were doing this it would take you probably maybe 15 minutes to do the whole thing start to finish including the stamping and the coloring and you're done you can make eight of these and be on your way. Easy peasy, get them in the mail. You can use the gift card. You could take a family picture and put there. But the eye zinc glitter, it's kind of creamy, a little bit, not quite a, 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 a peanut butter, but definitely creamy and holds up. The colors are amazing. And these new colors have a multicolor or a different colored um, glitter in them. The original eye zincs, the color of the glitter was just that. It was red glitter or it was gold glitter or it was silver glitter. Now the Aladdin has gone a little bit out on a limb and they've incorporated different colored glitters to make, oh, Fabulous, just fabulous. The coverage is amazing. And instead of having just one color shining back at you, you get multiple colors shining back at you. Now when I say they dry fast, I do mean that they dry fast. You will see that I never put the glitter onto my craft mat because you cannot put it back in its little jar, its little, little, I don't know, pouch. So I always take, and when I'm using it, I just put it straight to my finger, right from the spout, and I just give a little bit of a press. Then I can come in here. Okay, so I've got some glitter down. How long do you think it's going to take for that to dry? Well, let's put this one on. Oh. <laughs> okay. So what's this been on there? Maybe 15 seconds? Less? More? Can you hear that? It's almost dry. Can you see it's not moving anywhere? It is almost dry. This one will be dry soon. And you can hear it and you can see that it's not moving. If this was stickles, it would be everywhere or, or nouveau, but that takes longer to dry. That's what makes this glitter so amazing. Let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm getting there. It's almost dry. It dries like that. So the new 24 karat colors have this unique glitter in it that adds even more dimension. And the coverage can be all over. It can be, I can get this totally covered. I can use, look, I globbed it. I can have complete coverage where you can't tell what color paper is underneath. Or I can do what I was doing with my my card and I can just take it and put some on my finger 
and dab it where I want it to go. The glitter is also made to use with stencils because that coverage is so complete, because it is that it's, it's not pasty, it's not super thick, but it will let you move it with your palette knife right over a stencil. And then if you heat set, it is water resistant and you can wash it. Is that just a little bit of happiness? So do you want it to have a complete all over coverage? Do you want a medium coverage? Or do you just want to kind of dab and have it here and there and kind of sporadically? Where do you want it? It's up to you with the eyes and it's dry. Okay, I did not forward this YouTube up. <laughs> I didn't make it go super, 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 super fast and then, then said it's dry. This is real time and you can see just how awesome it is. And the new 24 karat, like I said, they've added multicolor glitters in there. So you're getting even a bigger dimension, even more dimension. And the colors are lovely. And there is 16 new ones. I use this, this is probably one of my most favorite products and I use this glitter all the time. Not that I don't love everybody else's glitter, but I am a, I, I, I'm a let's get it done type of girl. <laughs> so to sit there and wait or to do something and then move your arm across it, which is also me, I'm very good at doing that. I will move my arm right across it and then I've got it on my, elbow I've got it everywhere it's all it's my card is ruined my project is ruined so I like the idea of being able to just put it on add a little bit of bling or a lot of bling and have it dried very 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 fast now I mentioned that you can stamp and color with your Tombow markers as well so I'm gonna grab another stamp really quickly from let's go with Okay, let's go with this one. From the traditional set, and this one's got Santa and his boots and his hat, and it says, the big guy is coming or believe. I've got my cute little block. Put it right on my block. I can bring over one of my Christmas looking window ramas. You already know that this is going to be the top because it's got the circle that punches right out. And you know that this is going to be the bottom because there's no circle and it's got the little um, notches for you to either add a gift card or a picture to. Actually, I'm going to use this one first bring over and let's stamp up so I think I'm gonna put that off to the side and I'll do his little hat first Santa's hat One, two, three, A, B, C, and up. Good. And now let's do his little boots. And let's get his little boots on there. One, two, three, A, B, C. Oh, so cute. And then maybe I will stamp believe so that my sentiment is right on it. Maybe right here. 
one, two, three, A, B, C. Okay, so I am stamped and ready to go. Move my stamps out of the way. Clean up my hot mess. Woohoo! And now I can color. So, Tombow markers, remember, you can absolutely just use them as a marker. I could just color his hat right in with straight marker, but that's not what makes these markers unique. What makes them unique is that you can palette paint with them. So are they the only marker out there like this? No, Marvy, you can also palette paint with. Um, both of them are excellent markers. Tombows have been around forever. Many of you already own Tombows, so it because they've been around for so long, so you may have forgotten that you can easily put some marker onto your craft mat. Get a paintbrush with a little bit of water and make paint. And the more water I add, the lighter the color is going to be. So here I've kind of got a soft red because I've added quite a bit of water. But I could come over here where I haven't added water and here I've got a much darker red. And then I could pick up even more color without water and I'm losing some of my the water in my brush and I'll have even a darker red. So based on how much water you use, that will determine the color of the paint that you have, which is nice. That means that one marker is going to give you saturation from very, very, very light. I could even go lighter than that pink. I could add a ton of water. I mean, I could just saturate this and really get it wet, 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 wet. And the more water I use, the less saturation that ink is going to have and it's going to even be softer. So now I'm even softer in my color. All the way to as faint as you can go. But I want Santa's hat to have a nice red to it. So I'm gonna put some more down and I'm gonna pick up some of my color and I'm going to come in and I'm just going to paint it. And when you have open line stamps like this, this is an easy way of doing it. So a lot of lawn fawn is open line. And bam, he's done. But he's not so dark as just taking the color and painting. And if I wanted to, I suppose, do I have one more? Yep. Do I have his hat? Let's put his hat back on. And let's stamp it really quick. Uh, ink. Anybody seen it? Oh, there it is. Ink. Two, three, A, B, C. They're good enough. That'll do. If I wanted to, I could pick up my darker color. I want it darker than that. Nope, I want them even darker than that. There we go, nice and dark. And then I could start feathering out so it gets a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter. And can you see what I'm doing? I'm pulling the ink off my brush. So I've got that same look like I did with my watercolor pencils. And if I really wanted it to have definition, I could come back in 
and really just get that color on that outside edge so it's super red. Pull the ink off, pick up just a little bit of water, and just kind of blend it together. You have options with Tombow markers, and you have options with water or with regular colored pencils. So it's up to you which way you like better. Here I just painted it straight. No difference in color tone. Here you've got a little of the shadow, a mid-tone, and a little bit of a highlight going on. It's up to you. And then when you finish it, you put them together the exact same way you've been doing it. We take and wipe off our excess ink. We lay them flat. We put a little Stacy tape on the back. Peel off our liner. Line it up where we want it. And then we can start building. So a little bit of tape. You don't even have to have scissors. Can you see how easy kids would be able to do this? No scissors required. They can just use the markers or the pencils. You don't even have to use the Gamsol if you don't want to. And boof, they have got themselves the cutest little gifts for mom and dad. Just the most darling little thing. Gosh, you could even put their little handprint on the back. <gasps> so cute and the date oh my gosh or you could take their picture and put their picture in there and then their little handprint on the back and Merry Christmas okay there are ideas to be had with these and because you don't have to die cut them they're ready to use right out of the box for everybody all levels of crafter and yeah I mean I could then go through and I could grab Oh, I don't know, I could grab some of my gold if I wanted to, and I could edge out. If I wanted to add a little bling to this, I could just add a little down the edges of everything. Just add a little bit of sparkle, and because it dries right away, the kids, it's water friendly and until it's heat set. Once you heat set the glitter, then, it, then you are able to wash it. But until you heat set it, Baby wipes are gonna clean out off everybody's hands and the tables and oh, I mean, you can just go through and just make it happy. Let's go all the way around. And you're gonna have them in plenty of time to be able to use them for arts and crafts or make your Christmas card or have them for your church social or if you're, um, if you've got a cute a little crafty club, everybody can make them. I mean, you really can do just about anything you want to them, and they're very, very forgiving. So, what did we do today? Well, we played with the Isink new 24 karat uh, glitter, 16 new colors, and I'll show them all to you. But we also took two new and exclusive sets to scrapbooking made simple never been offered this way before never been online as far as I know we're the first ones to have them um, available online and so two new exclusive sets they come with 10 stamps each plus the block plus the ink it's $30 value for we're doing them for $19.99 each and then you've got what I think is just an absolute home run You've got the bases for window rama that come with stamps. You get to make eight. Each one comes with eight. So if you need 15 cards, well, perfect. Just get two packs. They're $14.99, and then they're also going to be on sale. And that means they come with the tops, the bottoms, and the center, and the envelope. So if you don't want to pull out any extra paper, not a problem. You don't want to pull out any extra stamps. 
Not a problem. We did that first one where all we did was stamp the sentiment and then we could take and we could glitter all around it. And if it's just that simple for you and then you sign your name, that's okay. Start somewhere. This is a great place to start because no matter who you give it to, they're gonna get it like this and then it's gonna pop up like this and then it's gonna sit on their desk or their mantle and they're going to remember you did this for them. You have your option as to how much you wanna make these, how embellished you want them, how glittery you want them. You've got those options. But being that they're for Christmas, they're only around for a little while. So we've got the two sets of those. We've got the two sets of stamps, whether you like the traditional set that I was using or the house mouse. And then I have got glitter like crazy. So we made a little storyboard just to kind of help, to kind of show you some of the different colors. So there's 16 different colors. And if you were here for the shop that did not hop and I was out there making everybody a snowflake, you know that I used the eye zinc glitter. I didn't use this glitter because I didn't know it was coming. I used their original and I wanna say, gosh, do they have 24 colors of original? Just amazing. And then what you see is what you get. So this window is actually clear. So the color that you see, oh my gosh. Oh, the color that you see is the color that you get. So this, this is a green, but it's a green that has a different colored iridescence glitter in there. It's yummy, oh my gosh. Okay, that's yummy too. It's purple, but when you move it around, it's got tones of reds and pinks in there. Oh yeah. Okay, this is red, and when you move it around, it's got iridescent greens and golds in there. So 16 colors of the new, the new eye zinc, and yes, we will have it in an I want it all, absolutely, but then we'll also sell it open stock. They're $5.95 and they'll be on sale, no worries. Now let's show some sample. Oh, and then we've got the Gamsol. Yeah, we'll put the Gamsol on YouTube, yummy as well, although I'm thinking by now most of you probably own Gamsol or it's on its way to you. But if you don't, you're gonna wanna get the kit. And what's nice about the kit is that you get the Gamsol, you get the stubs, you get the sharpener wherever I put it, right here. And Inky Antics has even included an easy little instruction booklet so you can see how to use it. So that'll be on a YouTube Yummy as well. But let's talk samples, because the samples are amazing. Now, this is the board that goes with this set. So every stamp that you see on this storyboard is a stamp that is in that set. I wonder if they did a few of them twice. Okay, so little house mouse. If you see the stamp, it comes in that set. That's not $29.99, it's $19.99. And it is exclusive to us. Yeah, you get all of these. Right? Pretty amazing. And I think they did, I think they used a couple of them. Like this one's here on a tag and then it's here on a card. Super cute. Oh, and this one's on a card, and here it is on the tag. So this is the storyboard that goes with that whole set of stamp pennies. All of that is in here. I know, right? All of those stamps. Then you've got the traditional set, which I was using, and this is the one, this is Fran's set. So cute. And again, storyboard. So everything you see, all those stamps, the words, all of it comes in that bundle. Just so cute. From tags to the little cards. And that all comes in the bundle that's a traditional bundle. Okay, then we have, I think I'll show you the cards that go with those as well. So these cards were used making that 
traditional bundle. Let me push my stuff out of the way. So these cards were used again with that's the house mouse with the traditional bundle. So all the cards I'm going to show you came for now came out of this bundle here. How cute is that, right? Darling. Okay, and then our next one. Oh. <laughs> Have a yappy Christmas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, the big guy is coming. How cute is that? And then we have Snowflake, our angel kisses. Darling, right? Winter wishes. And I really want you to see that these cards were not used with anything, made with anything more than just cardstock. There's no grand embellishment on here. It doesn't need it. The stamps do the work for you. No big grand embellishments going on. They're just stamped and colored. Then we have the house mouse bundle. And all of these cards were used with the house mouse stamps. So cute. All with house mouse. And again, just paper. This is a good place to use all of those scraps of paper that you've got. It's cute, right? Just grab a, all those scraps, start stamping and building cards or put them on your layouts, or make a mini album, or put a thing of hot chocolate, poke some holes, and attach a thing of hot cocoa or hot apple cider for somebody. You can do this. Then we have the two sets of window ramas, the winter and the Christmas. So let's show off some of these. All right, are you ready? How darling is this? Or, oh my gosh, <laughs> is that the cutest thing ever? Right, and then it folds right down, goes right in the envelope. Darling, right? Told you these were so super cute. Using the stamps. folds down. And then what if you just wanted to do? Remember I said backward, you could have it as the back. Here you just stamped right in the center and colored. You've got the little boots down there and we used the green for the backings. So we reversed. How cute is that? Easy to do. Oh and there's the little hat. He's so cute. And here's your piece on earth. Again, keeping the back as the backing and not having it here. It's up to you how you want to do it. You can put them together any way that makes your heart happy. So the two different, do you like the green for the backing or do you like the white? You don't have to choose. You can do either. And you don't have to use any extra paper. And then, okay. Uh, how stinking cute is that one? It's like, oh my gosh, really? You just want to go, oh, oh, I remember when my boys were that age. They're not that age anymore. I love them dearly, but they're men. They're not little, little boys that curl up on mommy's lap. Oh, and here we orientated it a completely different way as opposed to it going this way. We went this way. Whose cute little puppy is that? Oh my gosh. So we've got some Christmas. Oh, I've got lots of them. This is using the stamps out of the traditional set. And it folds right flat. And I've got a house mouse.
and another house mouse. And then we've got some winter. Oh, snuggle up. <laughs> oh my gosh. These just make my heart happy. And I don't see them until you see them, which makes my heart happy. So I'm, I'm looking at them the same time you are and they're just so darling. And here you've got Snow Much Fun. And yes, with a picture. Look at how easy it would be to send your Christmas cards with a family picture. That's a little bit more than just a basic postcard. This is using the, the sets, the house mouse sets that are for $19.99. Here's another one with the sets for $19.99. And again, this is the background and inside has been matted. Your choice. And then look at how darling is she. And again, that one is used as the back, but this one is used as the background paper. You choose. All right. So I'm going to tilt up. And I'm gonna scroll on back, Ooh, back, 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 back. And I'm gonna say, okay, you guys, was that fun? Wasn't that amazing how easy it is to use the products without ever having to really break out anything else? We didn't use scissors, we didn't use glue, we used tape, um, we used some pencils, some markers that you probably already own, you can do this and then you can make them so much more if you want to. I guarantee you, you'll start with your first one or two and by the time you're done with your eighth one, you may have added a little more to it. You may have gotten a little more adventurous and willing to play a little bit more. But this is a great opportunity for you to make handmade Christmas cards, holiday cards for your friends and your family and your coworkers and those at church. And I promise you, I really do, Finish them. Finish what you start. Because when you're done with it, whomever you give it to, they're gonna see the love that you put behind it. And maybe not necessarily that the paper isn't 100% straight. Now, where are you gonna get all this great product? Easy peasy. You can come shop locally here. We have a retail store or you can shop online. Now, you may be able to find at your local retailer the Tombow markers or the Tombow colored pencils or the Gamsol. And if you can, shop with them for those things. Don't, I don't shop with me for things. You, if you're lucky enough to have a local retailer, go visit them and buy those things from them. The things that you can't get, like the exclusives, then come to us for. But if we sprinkle a little bit of crafty love on this retailer, and we sprinkle a little bit of crafty love on this retailer, and we sprinkle a little bit of crafty love on that retailer, then all of us can stay in business and keep offering you wonderful products that help you be creative and, and fill the need you have to, to, um, to, to create. It's just amazing. Also, Remember, I will keep you updated as to Michael, Mr. SMS, and as soon as I have some news and some concrete things to say, I will let you know. But by golly, if you could put him in your prayers now, I, I would surely appreciate that. And just hang with me if I have to skip a YouTube or two. Just know that I am with you in thought and in prayer. And um, no defeat. Nope, not gonna happen. I will see you next week. Bye everybody.